Oh, it's your video, Pirate T. Oh, hey, I want to make this video showing you how to take out the battery on a iPhone 4S. As you can see, this is an older iPhone. But when you look it up, it's a model A1387 EMC2430. I think you might be able to see that in my hand. It's a 4S. So it's got two Torx screws. You know, you see that one right there on the right-hand side? The other one I took out just for demonstration. So you're going to you're going to need a torque screwdriver, which is these type. You see the connector? You see how it's different? It's for torques. You need a real probably the smallest one or a really small one. I didn't have one, but what I did have was a really small flat head that I was able to get the screws loose, but you it's recommend to use a torque screwdriver. And so what I'm going to do, I'm just, I just left the screw there, and I'm going to take it out real quick. I should be able to take it out using a, fill, a, a Torx. It's so loose I can, I can loosen it up with my finger. I just want to show that for demonstration. And then, so you've got, you're going to have four screws, and one of them, the other two are really small. Okay, so now what you do is you push away. So you push the the cover, it's going to come loose, but you have to push away. And so you just, or you could might be able to do it like this and just push on it really hard. You see how it came loose? You want to be careful you don't scratch the glass, so you might be able to do it with your hands. And you just keep pushing, and then pull up, and then there's the the cover the bottom cover I did not use you know what I'm saying so we'll just put that over here now here's the battery it's an ion this a customer brought me this Apple iPhone 4s and they want me to try to get the date off of it because it doesn't work right I got it to boot correctly once and it the battery was charged and it wanted the customers four digit pin but it quit working again so it could be the battery now, there's going to be two screws right here. Let me try to point them out. There's going to be a screw here. Right here. And a screw right here. And they're both Phillips. Let me show you the one up. Here is the Phillips right there. And then this piece is going to come off. Do not lose this piece. It attaches... It snaps down on the corner over here, but you need it. So don't lose it. Now, I remove both screws. Then, the, you might, you know, like how this is a pick. You, this one's broke, but you can get these little tools to pry. You want to use plastic because you don't want to scratch up like screens and and plastic. Or you might be able to use like a, a Phillips like this but you just pry you just pry the battery you don't want to start scratching things up but it will it there's glue on it so you just pry it. it's better to use these plastic tools like this but this one broke so it's really no good I mean I can't really pry it all underneath there but so I'm just gonna do it really lightly and you can hear the tape the glue you can hear the glue And then it'll eventually lift up. You can also pull over here, but I prefer just to, to lift this up here. And then I might be able to... There we go. And so as you can see, it's glued. Now you want to be careful. And this comes off right here. It, just, it, it pops right off. You see how it just popped right off? And when you go snap it back down, that's why you don't want to lose this piece right here I believe you do not want to lose this piece because that snaps back down once you screw that that snaps back down right here but uh, supposedly you don't want to lose this piece so don't throw it away because you see where it there's a little a, like a little snap that snaps down there alright so it, it comes off there it is and as you can see the the glue residue 
which I think is okay. You know, you just kind of maybe roll it back where it was. Or There's a screen here too. There's a plastic screen here that protects the other components. You don't want to tear this off. And I'll just leave it like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a replacement battery for this 4S. And what I do when I get replacement parts is if you notice there's a APN number which is 61605A2 there's a VPN number AN PB101801 I try to get the exact same model and you could with old devices like this eBay or even maybe Amazon I mean I don't know you might be able to find a new one but to me on you know I don't know if you can get them from Apple but let's say you could or another vendor, they'll charge you a lot more. Whereas you can probably get these maybe from eBay or Amazon or wherever you can get them. And obviously from eBay and Amazon, well, I don't know about Amazon. Do they? Well, maybe maybe Amazon used, but definitely eBay you might find a used one. So then let's just say that this is the replacement one. But yeah, you definitely, if you're in doubt, look up on batteries and hard drives and whatever it is on electronics and computers and smart devices just look up the serial number well the purchase number the model number or you know these kind of numbers APN number so that you can match it when you order you get the correct part so we'll just demonstrate you just so I still got a little bit of glue you just snap it back in place. I'll just make sure it's kind of flush. So when I put the cover back on, it, you know. And then this snaps right off or snaps right back down. But you know what? I probably should have snapped that down first. It'll snap down right on top. And then you see how the it lines up? You want to make sure it lines up with that other hole for the top screw. It's a little bit off, but for this video, I'm not too worried. You see where it lines up? You want to make sure it lines up. Here, what we can do is we can take the battery out, and we can connect it, hook it up first like I did that one time. Yeah, sorry, but I have to do this with one hand. There it goes. You see how it's lined up now? The hole. Let's use this other. You see how it's now lined up? Because when you, you tighten the screw, it's going to go through another hole in there. So you want to make sure those line up. And then you just move the battery in. And then what you would do, then put the cover back on and just... Let's see, I know I did this before. And then it's gonna move. Here, let me let me do this real quick. I'll just put the camera there. Whoops. Put the camera like that. And okay, let's see. I'm working on getting a setup with a camcorder. I just do this for now. So what Put it back on. Okay. Okay, I think it'll work. You might want to start at the top and then and then you just there it goes. You see how it went now? So I started, there's a little tab at the top. I just pushed I started at the top, made sure it was pressed down. Then I press down at the bottom a little bit, and then I pushed against it. So you want to push the opposite way. And you see how it's flush now? And then what you do, let me put it back. And then, obviously what you do is then put the two screws back. And they're right here. They are the Torx type screws. Right there, that one and that one. But you should try to use a Torx screwdriver but I was able to use a really small flathead. And that's it. That's how you would replace the Apple 
4S battery. Apple iPhone 4S battery. Adios.